observaciones. Some observations to keep in mind. All right, now I will explain some special rules to keep in mind regarding certain letters. Don't worry, it's not as difficult as it might seem. And you can always come back to this part of the video and refresh your knowledge if you need to. La letra C, the letter C. When the letter C is followed by either E or E, it is pronounced as an S, the same as in English. Here are some examples. Casa. Here the C is followed by an A, so it sounds as a natural C. Casa. Okay. The other case. Cerveza. Cinco. Here the C is followed by an E and an E, so it is pronounced as an S just like in English. Cerveza. Cinco. Other examples of a normal sounding C. Comida. Cuchillo. Cerveza. Cinco. La letra G. The letter G. The letter G in Spanish has a few variables that you have to remember. First of all, when the letter G is followed by an E or an I, the sound is like a hard exhalation, like ich in German. Like this. Ga, he, he, go, gu. Let's see some examples with actual words. Gato, normal G sound. Genio. Girasol, exhalation sound. Mago, gusano, normal G sound. This also applies within words, such as ángel, magia. Genio, girasol. Ángel. Magia. The second variable for the letter G. When the letter G is followed by we or we, the U will be silent, such as gua, ge, gi, guo. Gu. Let's see some examples. Guapo. Guerrero. Guitarra. Antiguo. Gusano. Águila. Guerrero. Guitarra. Águila. Third variable for the letter G. When the letter G is followed by we or we, but the U has two dots over it, then the U will be pronounced like this. Gua, we, we, wo, gu. Here's some examples. Pinguino, de sagüe. This punctuation mark over the U, the two dots, is called diéresis in Spanish. Pinguino, de sagüe. Okay, now let's take a look at all the different cases that involve the letter G as a review. Da, he, he, go, gu, gua, ge, gi, guo, gui, 
Wei. La letra H, the letter H. In Spanish, the letter H is always silent, except when it follows the letter C. Then it is considered the letter C, or when it is used in a word that comes from another language, such as shampoo. Here are some examples. Almohada. Alcohol. Héroe. Almohada. Héroe. La letra ñ. The letter ñ sounds like ñ. Here are some examples. Piña. Año. Baño. Año. Baño. La letra Q. The letter Q. The letter Q in Spanish must always be followed by the letters we or we. U E U I. But the U will always be silent. For example, queso, quince, quemar, querer, químico. As you can see, the U is always silent. Queso, quince. La letra R, the letter R. The letter R in Spanish is pronounced hard when it's at the beginning of a word and soft when it's inside of a word. It's not always hard, as you might think. If we need to pronounce a hard R inside of a word, we use the double R, which sounds like this. R. For example, Rosa. Árbol, pera, perro, rosa, árbol, pera, perro. La letra V, the letter V. The letter V is pronounced the same as in English, using the top front teeth against the lower lip. This letter is called by a different name depending on the country. In some countries it's called V or V corta, and in others you might hear it as V. La letra W, the letter W. Like the letter V, the W has different names depending on the country. You might hear it as W, 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 U. All of them are accepted forms. La letra Y y la letra L. The Y and the double L. The letters Y and L are both pronounced the same way, like a soft English J. For example, yo. Ayer, llave, ella. A fun fact, the name of the letter Y is Y, which means Greek I, because it comes from the Greek alphabet. The letter I is called I Latina, which means Latin I, because it comes from the Latin alphabet. La letra Z, the letter Z in Spanish, is pronounced the same as the letter S. For example, zanahoria, sol. Although Spaniards from Spain pronounce it in their own way, such as zanahoria or cebra, la tilde or el acento, 
the accentuation mark in Spanish. Whenever you see a little mark over a vowel, it's there to indicate that you must emphasize that vowel in that word. For example, árbol, not árbol, árbol, acción, not acción, acción. This mark is called a tilde or acento. The tilde can only be used over vowels, not consonants. The tilde is very important for past tense verbs, but we will discuss that on a more advanced lesson. Here's just one example. Present tense. Yo bebo agua. Past tense. Yo bebí agua. All right. That's all for this video lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Hasta luego. See you again soon.